raise hand function again and ask questions. Good evening, everybody. We'll start with Gus Bailey. We'll start with Gus Bailey. Go hey, ahead, Karen, Gus. How you doing? I'm good. How you doing? I'm doing well. Uh, what what did what did you make of today's practice? Uh, you know, through the first day of the spring ball. Uh, like any other practice, it's just as a start out. But it the intensity was great though. Like I ain't, I never really seen that like that. But it was it was like any other practice. It was it was the energy was there. The uh, the focus was there, and just a little minor details we got to work on. Right. And what have you seen from Coach Jones? You know, being the interim head coach, what have you seen from him over the last you know couple of weeks, and especially today? You know, getting the guys motivated. Like what you said, he he brings that motivation. He brings that energy. Okay, we'll go next to Benton Smith with the general role. Go ahead, Benton. Hey, Kyron, how, how would you kind of describe uh, Emma Jones as a coach? I mean, you said you mentioned energy, but uh, what what about him and how he kind of deals with you guys stands out? So, like – so are you saying what type of coach he is? Is that what you, is that what you? Yeah, I mean, like, how, what what type of personality does he have when he's coaching? All that stuff. Uh, so, like I said, uh, he was he's just ba basically very motivating. He got a bunch of energy, and like when he speaks, it's like you are locked on to him. It's like he makes sure that you like you're focused up because anything he says is like it's it's basically like motivation or is basically a word of confidence to get you going on that field. Hey, what what stands out to you about this defense and and kind of what what you guys are trying to do? There's there's some continuity there. You know, you guys have experience now entering the spring. What what are you excited about with the defense? We're more collective. Uh, we've been collective, but like we, me personally, is like the linebackers. Like last year, we didn't really go out like that. But and and, and yes, because of, due to COVID reasons as well. But like whenever we go out, it's like, we make sure it's like a team thing. It's like linebackers and outside linebackers put together and you know, the D line, we're tagged them in as well. And it's just, it's just, it's more of a family oriented thing now. It's like, we're more collectively together than we was before. And, and just from, in terms of your personnel, you guys played a lot of young guys uh, last year and you know, they got to get some experience through that. What, what maybe has you excited about some of the guys who, who are, you know, still young, but still have a lot of promise. They just go out to follow behind us. And like, just with everything that we know, they just, just follow us basically. Cause like, we're not going to steer them wrong, but at the same time, you have to make that path of your own too. Cause sometimes you're going to be thrown out there with the sharks. And so you just got to make ends meet. Okay. We'll go next to Sam Lance. Go ahead, Sam. Hey, Kyron, you took advantage of uh, coming back for another year. Could you just expand on why you made that decision? Hmm. <laughs> I just wanted to come back. And not, not only that, but like it's an extra year. I mean, when you come back, if you had an extra year, I mean, that'd be a smart thing to do too. And not only that, but I also wanted to get my stats up a little bit as well. Because last year, I feel like I, feel like I was a little disappointed at what I did. And like I could have gave more. And so like that's why that's another reason why I came back. Do you have any certain goals in mind? To make it to the NFL. And if I can't do that, then on my way to be a doctor or a project manager. I mean, it's like, there's 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 a lot of goals that I have set, but it's like, I, I take them like, it's a little bit at a time. Like, you know, eat healthy this way, get to this weight uh, this way, drink uh, this much this day. It's like, I, I set little tiny goals. It's like a bunch of goals that I set for myself. So it's not, I wouldn't say it's, I have a, ma I do have a major goals, but like those are my major focus. I guess my focus are my smaller goals. Thank you. Mm -hmm. We'll go next to Scott Chasen with 247 Sports. Go ahead, Scott. Hey, Kyron, how are you doing? I'm good, how about you? I'm good, I'm good. Hey, just speaking on your decision to come back, were there guys on the team that you talked to while you were maybe thinking through it, if, if it was that uh, long process at all, thinking through it? And, and who'd you tell first when you made it? So, so like, what are you saying? Like, are you, are you asking, did I talk to anybody on whether or not I was coming back? And like, if I should make that decision, is that what you're saying? Yeah, yeah. Uh, was, uh, I mean, uh, the only people I talked to is just my my family, like my my bloodline family, like my mom, my dad, my little brother, my older brother. I just talked to them. Everybody else, yes, I had conversation with them, mm -hmm. but it was just more like, "Are you coming back, Karen? Are you coming back?" Yeah. I mean, it was just it was just simple. That it was just that simple. Yeah. How'd your coaches react when you let them know? I guess the formal decision that that you were doing it. 
He was like, yeah, man, yeah, man. I like to see it. I love it. I love it. We need you. As a, you know, you know how they get that little, the little, I'm excited to have you back speech. You know how that is. Hey, in, in a big picture sense, there's been some uncertainty, especially with, you know, coaching changes on staff. Uh, how important has it been for you, for other leaders on the team to kind of uh, step up, communicate certain messages and, and make sure everyone kind of sticks together? So it has been for us to cope with this, like the changes within the coaches. So, it, I mean, it's just like, for me, it's, I've seen it all before because like I've come from, like I even seen it in my high school and I've seen it here. So it's just like, as stepping up as a leader, it's just, it's an obligation. And it's something that like, not that I have to do, but something that I need to do. And so like, it just comes natural. Thank you. Mm -hmm. We'll go to Matt Fortuna with The Athletic. Go ahead, Matt. Hi, Kyron. Um, you talked about the energy and, and, you know, the juice that was flowing in practice today with Coach Jones now leading the whole team. Just curious, how familiar were you with him as a coach, as a person, playing on the other side of the ball, and how has kind of perception and reality met each other in with your Coach, eyes today? With Coach Jones? With Coach Jones, yeah. Uh, yeah. I mean, I mean like, like you said, he's on the offensive side of the ball, but, like, because, like, trying to talk with him is, like, you don't really talk with him as much, not as much as you would do your own position. But like, why is coach, like Coach Schoonover, which is my coach, I talk to him a lot of Coach Elliott because they're on the defensive side of the ball. But I've talked to him some, and like I even went in his office and talked to him. He's a he's a great dude. Like he's he's one of the like, like I wouldn't be surprised if they just stay with him as the head coach. Like, cause he he just great like that. Did did you do you have like an idea of like how he would be as a head coach and how he would run a practice or? Did you kind of go in today blindly, not knowing what to expect? I just knew he was going to bring that juice. I just knew he was like going to bring that energy, that motivation. That's something to get this team going, you know, calling people out that needs to be called out, not making sure that we're not going down that same path that we've been going over and over and over again. Two more. We'll go to John Go ahead, John. Hey, Kyron. Um, there's some young linebackers on on the team, Kryshawn Brown, Barry Hill person. What, Kryshawn, what can yeah. you tell us about some of those guys? Uh, they, they're learning, they're learning. They got to, they like, they're inexperienced. And so like, they don't really know. I wouldn't say they don't know the concept, but like they have to get the experience in, in order to know how to play the game. Because right now, going in, you can tell that they're getting the feel of it. It's basically how I looked like when I was a freshman or a sophomore. I didn't know what I was doing. I was just going with the flow of things, watching the dude ahead of me. And, like, that's, that's how it's going to be. Like, they're just basically doing what they need to do in order to become great leaders in the future. Hey, Kyron. I, it's been a couple of weeks now uh, since Emma Jones was announced, but it looked like from photos that he addressed the team. Do you remember what he told you guys, what his main message was when it was officially announced he was the interim? Wait, say, say that one more time? Yeah, when he was named interim a couple of weeks ago, there were some photos that he kind of gathered t the team together, was kind of standing at the podium and addressed you guys. Do you remember kind of his main message from that, what he was trying to convey to you guys then? I, I do not. I, my mind bad. I don't. <laughs> I don't remember that. I'm sorry. <laughs> All right. Well, how about today? Any any words today before you guys started practice about what he was looking for from you guys? Oh yeah, he was he was telling us bring that intensity. Bring like I said, he like it, it, he brings that juice. Like and like, you don't really see that a lot out of the head coach. Like they bring that juice, that energy, that motivation. And like with him, he brings that though. And so like that's why I say the team looks different too. It looks real different. Like I can say that a lot of times though, but like when I say it looks different, like you can see it on the offensive side. You can see it in the, on the, on the defensive side. You can see it in the D line, linebackers, receivers, running backs. You can see the energy. Like you can see, like it's a whole type of step up. And like with him, it's like, whoa, where did this energy come from? And it's like, we needed that. It's like, we need that motivation.